Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be doing a board and rights raid, and yes, it's finally back. Hooray! Well, by the time I'm uploading this, it's, gonna, it's Monday, so... It's not gonna be back, but you know, for this raid, for... It, it went away, it's finally back, so... Yay! We didn't just permanently put this aside and wait like three months to put it back. It's... Is that? For like two weeks, I think? I think it's two weeks, I'm not sure. I think it's one. Yeah, no, it was just one. So, kind of sadly, that's not more than that. Oh well. At least it's back now on, su on Sunday, so that's nice. And, as you see, we're not only using Haas, but also finally have Ryan in a meme spread. Yes, I know, I have done a few videos with Ryan. And I think I've done 82. But, I did, but most of my videos, I try to actually avoid using Ryan because. Ah! It just kind of get boring after a while, you know? So, I try to save it for just here and there in between. So, I think this is though the first actual, like, legit Apex meme strat that we have. So I know the, like, the only other time I've had a ride in the Apex raid is my first ever Hyper Ball raid. But that was a actual strat that we did. There was, there, there was no meme in there. We were doing that legit. Uh, that's one of the few legitimate strategies I actually show on this channel. Shit, I still haven't done an Imperial raid on this channel yet. Damn. We should. I mean, we I think we might have been able to mess around with it a bit before. I know uh, Jurricane, if y'all ever watch him. Uh, I know he's done well with a level 1 sloth. So, it's possible to mean, but... I just... I, I don't know really what else to do. I, I mean, at least with Sloth, if it makes sense. Because you can just camo spam that shit. Although, why not just use those mega pops? Why not? I should think I have some friends with them. Fairly decent uh, mega tops. I might never really try that. I won't record that, but it's definitely a funny idea. Though I probably won't do the camels right now. Let's see. We're about to kill this bitch, hopefully. The uh, question is, do we? Oh shit, no oh, fuck. Okay, I have to heal here. I'm just hoping it talks. And it also has to It's a 75%. Yes, it hit! <laughs> now the question is, does he dodge? Hell yeah! I like it. I like it. He does not dodge you. He already has the damage covered. Also, Piercing Screech needs a cooldown for like two. Because the amount of buffs it gets, and the amount of like. It's just. What the fuck? It's a three turn cooldown. It's not even like good. Like, it doesn't buff your damage increase. By 50%, it just buffs your crit chance. I mean, yeah, it's a buff by a lot, but still, at the same time, it's like, really? Let me look up exactly what it does. Real quick. Go to the Beer to Beach. Probably get the fuck to find it. Okay. Oh, Smash, there we go. Okay, so it clutches, increases speed for only one turn. Increases crit by 20% for two turns, and then distracts for two turns to attacks. Yeah, it's priority, but it's also the cooldown of three. What the fuck? No, really, what the fuck? These buffs are not good enough to want a three turn cooldown. Unlike something like Top Quills. What the hell? Like, this move says. Weird. Like, it. It would work way better if they just put Preaching Screech down to a cooldown of two. Because if then your crit chance actually then you actually your crit chance, you know, would last for as long as the cooldown. If not just a little shorter. Not only that, but you could distract a little better and a little easier. Because 
because then you can go piercing screech, fearless flop, or fearless flop, piercing screech, and not have to worry too much about it. And then you have the Hermit's Rampage is okay, it's a nice Rampage with Hermit's Dodge. So, it's not terrible, it's not great. But Pulse Max just needs a better buff than 75% distraction resistance. I mean, it's already. It also should probably get a speed increase, it's like 133. Minimum 130 though, because 128, that's slow as hell for a fucking. Like, y'all all seen them when they first came out. They're in like 130 to 132. They are some fast motherfuckers. So, why the hell would Hoss Max not be in 130? Although, it is very tight, I will say. It has 4,000 right now. What about my own position? still pretty good. It's not bad. I mean, the stats themselves are not terrible. It's actually very tanky. It's the, the out of the three Apex though, it's the least tanky. Speaking of which, Ravenous Rampage. Let's see how much fucking damage we can get. Does it crit? Yes. It's not much, but it's still something. Especially since Mortem has 40,000 It doesn't work that much. Well, 11k, Jesus, bro. It's all good. Well, you should do it with that. I probably will never do it because I never play Mortem. But there we go. We finally had Funyan in a meme strat. And it's against Mortem of all things. Well, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching. And have a wonderful day.